Hey folks, Vortex here and welcome to my review of a smartwatch this time, just to be a bit different. This is the One Lego W13. And yeah, as usual, full disclaimers, this is actually sent to me from the company to try it, so thank you very much. I was not paid to do this video, nor thoughts and opinions are my own. And yet it's not a set of OEMs or anything like that, but a smartwatch is actually quite useful. So yeah, let's just get into it. So a closer look up, uh, what you actually get, so this kind of weird kind of colour transition. You use the app, it's the W13 model, obviously UK spec. Uh, yeah, so obviously I've already opened it to save a bit of time as you can see. But the watch was actually in there which kept it secure in shipping. You get this card, so a warranty card, one year extended warranty. Might be worth looking at. The charge cable. So make sure you don't lose this because that's quite proprietary. So the cable came in there. The final two. So this is the watch. That's quite a cool looking face. I have not tried this yet. As you can see, the cover's still on it. So it's in a few different languages. So just pick English. Quite obvious. So look on the back. That's where you charge it, the top part, heart rate sensor, there's a speaker and a microphone, so yes, you can actually use this to make calls, so that's actually quite uh, quite something. So there's the app, which obviously I will do a, a clip of and try it, the very fit app, screen operation and pairing, safety instructions, tap the screen, turn it on and off, so you can, turn it, you can actually turn it off if you want to, instead of it being like on a standby. It's an IP68 water resistance, which is pretty good. Long battery life, low latency, and obviously uh, I'll have a good look at that. And uh, yeah, onto the watch itself. So it's a normal size smartwatch. Yeah, obviously you can see from the black, the back, obviously that's for charging. There's the sensors. It's good there's a speaker and a microphone, so I think that's the speaker there. You can change the straps. If you can see there, you, you pull... You pull that across and you, you can take it off. And oops, so long function to turn on. I've, I've actually charged this device. And yeah, oops, so it wants to scan. So I'll do that off camera. So yeah, in the future, I'm gonna obviously use this, see what it's like. Uh, I'll do a clip of the app. Um, and yeah, and, the, and then my full impressions. But I do like smartwatches, they're kind of cool, kind of different, so yeah see you guys in the future so this is just what the actual app looked like so i've already synced it as you can see idw13 at the top then my steps is alone because i've only been using it for uh maybe a couple of hours really and i'm at home so i haven't done much activity but it is quite accurate when i've used it outside i'll get to the steps in a bit like how many i hit so main page i'm gonna be going from left to right as you can see at the bottom you've got home exercise device and my so first page sports I haven't done anything sleep i haven't slept with it today uh heartbeat at the time a few few minutes ago like 40 minutes ago was hot but it's normally uh lower that so stress amount is low vo2 max no data just a bit more information here and my body weight i put in that's my weight and yeah, so I've had a quiet day today, is the best way to describe it. Now there's some more information there, if you want to use that. Uh, achievements, a lot there. I did, in a day I did over 5,000 steps. You should be aiming to do 10,000 a day. Uh, no family members added, so that's the main first page. If you click edit, you can toggle what you want on and off. So I've got the bottom view off. You turn on and off whatever you want. So you can use this for basic or more. Exercise is it like kind of maps like the distance and stuff like that. Click device. So at the top, IDW13, 82% and version. Uh, face, if you want to change it, the, you know, the actual display. I'll get to the displays in the review section after this. Um, things you can turn on and off. Alarm clock, health tracking, calls is on. Uh, notification man management disabled. Let's click there. 
can turn whatever on or off that you want. So either WhatsApp, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever. So you said there's quite a bit. Alexa, I don't use it, but you can on and off, so more settings, a bit more information there. Weather weather push, I'll go through that obviously. There's a lot of things on the actual watch itself. Go out of that. So that's that page. Just click the device, IDW13. You can change the name, 82% battery at the moment, device upgrade, battery life instructions. So there's things that you can enable to get more accurate, but you can see it makes it high power consumption. And you can see at the bottom, which may have high. So I've kept mine for most of my testing on a lower power. Click about, information about it. And that's it. We start device reset or delete. Now if we're going too long, click on my. You can see the information there. You can change the name, settings. You can see the few things there. And I think that's pretty much it. So yeah, some more settings, all there. Bottom click tiles. You can choose what you want, active or not. And yeah, so I think that's pretty much it, it really. Then I'll, uh, yeah, on to the review. So yeah, so welcome to my review section, the W13. The main uh, screen, shall we say, I've just got one button. The engine seat, now it's set for 20 seconds. Put it back on, very simple. 374 steps, yes it's been a lazy day, heartbeat sensor there and here is the battery life percentage hidden by the fingers. That's if you choose this display and you get easy 10 hours worth of, uh, sorry 10 days worth of battery life. So if on the top, DND mode, uh, brightness, it's set to activate when you flick your wrist. It uses a torch so the screen goes white. Um, that's if you think you dropped in the water, settings, alarm clock power saver and that's it use it up to like guide to your phone if you misplaced your phone so let's click settings watch faces you can pick from three but you can pick more from in the app two three back to number one it does vibrate as well so scroll up from the bottom no new notifications so scroll across alexa call there, you just cycle, so you can go through left or through right. Activity, you know, those sensors. Outdoor run. So you just press play. Um, let's sleep. Go from the top. Double click again. Again, these dis are quick shortcuts. Instead of going left and right, it just displays it all. So there's quite a lot, really. You can try your camera control find your phone again it just shows the same things it does from before and yeah that's pretty much it so it works i found overall it does work quite well for what i need i'm a basic user so i only need to use it for steps um i didn't really use it for sleeping i don't really find it comfortable when you're wearing something on your wrist for sleeping but it works as you can see it works fine and i'll show you what it looks like on my wrist So I, for, for my use case, I found it quite uh, quite accurate. So you actually tuck the inside, you can see. So tuck that in, that's in. So yeah, that's how it looks like on me. I have a smaller wrist. There you go, it's in. So yeah, I have a smaller wrist, obviously hairy arm. And yeah, it seems pretty fine. Again, if the strap breaks, you can probably chain it. So you've got there, mechanism there. So yeah, 10, 10 days worth of battery life. I, it works perfectly fine for my use case, which is more of a basic user. Um, I'll just show you a different display. So let's just go to, I can just show you clock if you want. Alarm, stopwatch timer. Again, you probably know kind of functionality this, this has. It has, to be honest, more than enough. So let's just go to watch faces. So that's it, so that one's calories, steps, time, day, heartbeat, battery life. And again, kind of the time, because needing nine o'clock at night. And yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Quick show through these and I'll probably end the review. So 
turns it obviously it looks blue on the screen but in reality it's white so so click this and it's vibrating shake the wall so it thinks you've dropped it so that's there go to kind of call press this power saving mode yes or no obviously you saw the about the alarm clock add an alarm and yeah so that's pretty much it so i do i recommend it i think it's a pretty cool watch uh best to keep checking when they because the prices seem to like oops fluctuate a bit so best to get the kind of right price for my use case it seems to work more than enough again i'm a basic user you can play around the with these settings until you see fit you may be a more of a hardcore user than me so you pick what you want like in the app it showed you those high battery mode like high battery consumption kind of modes pick them if you want to i only really wanted to use this for like um for bluetooth use so it's got microphone and speaker it's got that in there and um, for steps really uh useful if you can really use it as a phone so if you've got your phone in the um, uh, what do you call it kind of in a bracket you know like on a tripod and you're further away you need basically you need to take a picture but there's no one there and you need to do it for you you can obviously use this to do it for you um and yeah i'll put it into there pretty cool battery life's good it works more than enough for me i do like the displays you can add more if you want 10 days or so worth of battery life is really good quick chart takes a couple of hours to charge uh which is there straps interchangeable yeah not much to say really it's pretty works pretty good it does exactly what it's supposed to so yeah put it into there if you want to know in particular i will add it in the comments and yeah thanks for watching and take care